So in this case, each server is a sales rep so that you can track each server's sales separately. Uh, one customer setup is daily sales, and you may want to create some custom fields to track uh, some information that you might want on some customized reports later for um, their customer count that's going to show up on their end of day, how many to-go orders, what their average sale was, um, and that way you can put that on their daily sales summary so that you can pull a report in QuickBooks. And then you would, uh, with the daily sales receipt, you would customize it to add in those fields. All right, so any questions on that before we get into the daily sales summary on how the item list and chart of accounts are created? Okay. All right, so uh, again, you need to decide how detailed you're going to get on the daily sales summary. So the way we're doing this is to exclude detail that we want to keep this summarized, but you can create as many items as you want, but you want to uh, keep it easy for your client because this is a manual entry. What you're going to be doing with this daily sales summary, though, it's only complicated the first time to explain it, but after that, you're memorizing this transaction for them to use over and over again, so it just becomes part of their day. It shouldn't take them more than 10 or 15 minutes to do this task if it's not importing over. Uh, so uh, you, now this is just a suggestion if uh, how you want to chronologically sort this. Now, this is saying year, month, and date, uh, day. Uh, in the one that I'm doing right now, we're actually using the number to match to the batch in the POS side. And so that way, if there's any issue between the two systems matching, we can make sure each batch matches and it's easier to track it that way. So that's how I'm doing it there.